1974 S. Lincoln sent. Graded as PR-70 Deep Cameo by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez, the 1974 S. Proof Lincoln sent is easy to obtain and grades up to about PR-68 Deep Cameo. Examples in PR-69 Deep Cameo are more challenging to find but enough examples exist, that most collectors can buy one at a reasonable price. PR-70 specimens are almost unheard of. PCGS has certified just four specimens including this gem in that top grade. It was sold for $23,062.61 with buyer's fee. 1965 Washington Quarter in Mint State 68. According to Heritage Auctions, the mint transition from the familiar silver alloy for the quarter dollar to a copper nickel-clad composition in 1965. Coinage surpassed 1.8 billion pieces between all of the active mints, but these were struck without mint marks, making effectively just one issue for the year. Extended commercial use absorbed most of the production of this issue, while mint state examples were preserved in roll quantity. For registry collectors, this issue is only rare at the lofty MS-68 grade level, which is where the importance of the present coin lies. Satiny luster and iridescent toning grace the pristine surfaces. It was sold for $11,400. 1922, No D. Lincoln sent with obverse lamination error, graded as VF-25 Brown by NGC. VF, standing for very fine according to coin grading scale. As a representative of this highly sought-after variety, obverse of this penny is weakly struck, plus slightly worn due to circulation. Other than that it displays lamination gouge near the head of the Lincoln. In numismatics, obverse lamination refers to a type of mint error where a layer of the coin's metal separates or peels away from the coin's surface on the front side, the obverse. This results in a thin layer or layers of metal lifting or peeling off the coin, creating a noticeable defect. Collectors often find mint errors like lamination interesting and valuable due to their rarity and the unique appearance they give to the affected coins. This one was sold for $780 on November 29, 2023. 1918 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 66 Red by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, softly lustrous mint orange surfaces exhibit bursts of rich rose and fiery orange iridescence, largely on Lincoln's portrait. A splash of deep royal blue and fiery orange graces the reverse. A sharply struck specimen from the first year with Victor David Brenner's initials on the truncation of Lincoln's shoulder. In 1909 the initials were removed from the reverse design and didn't reappear again until 1918. This gem fetched a sum of $25,850. 1967 Washington Quarter. The strike is bold despite dye where the produces metal flow lines in the fields and on areas of the obverse portrait. Both sides display champagne interiors surrounded by lovely lavender and ice blue border toning. No major abrasions are observed. It ended up selling for $8,812.50. 1952 D. Franklin half dollar in mint state 67 with full bell lines. The majority of certified 1952 D. half dollars are designated as full bell lines and that is unsurprising, as submissions are always value-based. PCGS has examined nearly 7,000 examples of this issue mostly in grades below MS-66. Grading totals at NGC parallel those at PCGS. This piece is an amazing superb gem with a bold strike, and it is tied for the finest that either service has examined. Both sides have brilliant, frosty luster within a light gold tone frame. It was sold for $6,600. 1983 P. Jefferson Nichols struck on a copper scent planchet. Graded in Mint State 65 Red by PCGS. This piece is more than just a wrong planchet error, it is also a transitional error. The mint ceased production of copper since in 1982, transitioning to copper-plated zinc planchets that year. A few of the old copper blanks, caught in hoppers at the end of the year, found their way into coining presses in 1983, and those errors are deeply coveted by Lincoln Scent error collectors. It was sold for $4,800. 1921 Lincoln sent in MS-67 red condition. According to NGC, the minting of cents at Philadelphia dropped off rapidly during 1921, as the huge numbers struck during the previous five years proved quite sufficient to meet current demand during this recession year. Unlike most Philadelphia mint cents, this date is a bit scarce in fully red gem condition. Worn examples are plentiful. This PCGS graded superb gem, displays dynamic yellow golden color with touches of orange red highlight. It was sold for $12,759. 1927 S. Mercury Dime in Mint State 67. Comes with CAC approval. 
The 1927s mercury dime is scarcer than many other issues from the 1920s in mint state. Any coin grading finer than MS65 is rare, regardless of the sharpness of the fasces bands. This is the sole finest non-full bands coin at PCGS and CAC, and it is numerically equaled by a lone NGC coin in the same grade. PCGS reports MS67 full bands examples that are arguably finer. Brilliant, satiny mint luster complements the pristine surfaces. The Fassies bands show near full definition. It was sold for $7,500 on December 14, 2023. 1976's bicentennial quarter overstruck on a struck cent. Graded as PR67 read by NGC. The bicentennial quarter was the sole design change to the Washington quarter between its 1932 introduction and the 1999 advent of the state quarter series. It was struck in 1975 and 1976, though all examples bear 1976 dates. As a single-year type, off-metal specimens are very rare. In fact, a search of our online archives, which date to 1993, failed to find another proof bicentennial quarter struck on a cent planchet. This mint error was struck aligned with the collar die at 6 o'clock. The types are complete, though Washington's hair is mostly indistinct. Quarter dollar is partial and blurry. It ended up selling for $9,000. 1910s Lincoln cent. Graded in mint state 67 read by PCGS. According to David Hall, the 1910s has long been considered a semi-key date in circulated grades, as have all 1909-1915s mint Lincolns. The mintages of these earliest Lincoln cent S mints is considerably lower, with the exception of the key date 1914D, than all of the Denver and Philadelphia issues. In circulated grades, the 1910S is about the equal of the 1913S, and those two are the easiest of the 1909-1915S mints to find in circulated grades. In gem full red MS65 or better condition, the 1910S is far more plentiful than any of the other early S mints, though it is relatively scarce. In fact, you have to go all the way to 1930 to find a S mint that's easier to find in gem condition than the 1910S. This issue is usually found with a decent strike. The color on original coins is often more light reddish brown than red red. This rare specimen ended up selling for $18,150. 1971D Washington Quarter with Double Die Reverse. Graded as EF40 by PCGS. F standing for extremely fine. According to Variety Vista. Strong spread on United States of America, quarter dollar, and light on E pluribus unum. Quarter displays strong circulation or strike softness on Washington's hair. Numerous contact marks are evident on either side. This circulated error quarter dollar ended up selling for $840. 1988D Lincoln sent with flared G on reverse. Graded as MS66 read by PCGS. According to Lincoln sent collection.com in 1988 rare alternate reverses from both the Philadelphia and Denver mints were produced where the A and the M were wide as normal but the FG initials were close to the memorial rather than far as they should be for that year. These are 1988 coins with the transitional year reverse of 1989. This variety has sometimes been unfortunately called the 1988 wide AM even though a wide AM is normal for that year. To clear up this confusion PCGS now names these varieties as having a flared G. This MS66 red cent was sold for $1,519.88 with buyer's fee. 1983 Lincoln cent with double die reverse. Graded in mint state 66 red by PCGS. Metal composition of the alloy is percent 99.20 zinc and percent 0.80 copper. Obverse side displays several carbon spots, light scratches and plating blisters which most likely prevented the finer grade from grading service. Bold and clear doubling is seen on all letterings of the reverse which could be seen with naked eyes. This MS66 error penny ended up selling for $384. 1909s VDB Lincoln cent. Graded in mint state 65 read by PCGS and proven by CAC. According to Heritage Auctions, glistening golden and tan orange hues adorn the gem surfaces of this full red 1909s VDB cent, complementing well-struck design elements. The coin is largely pristine, with only a single horizontal mark below the M in America serving as a pedigree marker. CAC endorsement adds to the appeal. It was sold for $10,800 on January 10, 2024. 1971s Proof Washington Quarter. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. Those Washington Quarter specialists who are attempting collections for the PCGS registry program understand the importance of the present offering. 
This example retains its full proof brilliance, with only a hint of champagne toning that adds to the overall aesthetic appeal. The contrast between the fields and devices is remarkable, and the quality of the strike is incredible. Every design element is boldly rendered to its maximum depth. It fetched a sum of $7,475. 1925 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 64 Plus Red by PCGS. According to Heritage Auctions, the 1925 S. Lincoln Cent is scarce in Mint State with original red color. Choice examples are particularly elusive, and finer pieces are rare. This plus-graded near gem displays mainly copper orange luster but also shows wisps of delicate rose and pale green hues. Only a few specks are present. Struck from worn dyes, as usual, with metal flow lines on the obverse. Evidence of heavy dye usage is more obvious on the obverse than the reverse. Sold on December 14, 2023 for $11,400. 1970 S large date sent with double dye obverse. Graded as MS65 red by PCGS. All obverse lettering exhibits pronounced eye doubling on this guidebook variety, showing most prominently on Liberty and in God We Trust, with lesser doubling on the date. This gem red example displays satiny copper red luster and a bold strike. No bothersome carbon spotting is seen. It was sold for $3,600. Attractively toned 1957 D. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. This enchanting piece is vividly toned with the boldest, most impressive colors lining the left obverse and reverse borders. Fully frosted throughout with smartly impressed design elements and essentially pristine surfaces. A truly delightful and awesome condition rarity from this high mintage Denver issue with 77,924,160 coins struck. 1981, S. Susan B. Anthony Dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 by NGC. Most Susan B. Anthony dollar issues are plentiful to a certain degree as fine as MS67, but the 1981S is surprisingly rare in this grade. According to Heritage Auctions, the present coin displays bright, satiny luster and pristine, brilliant surfaces. Well-struck devices complete the eye appeal. It was sold for $5,040. 1982 D. Bronze Lincoln Scent with small date. Graded as AU58 by NGC. Very rare transitional alloy error. According to Heritage Auctions, it is sharply struck and minimally abraded with medium to deep walnut brown toning. Due to the rising cost of copper, since transitioned from bronze to copper plated zinc during 1982, the quality of strikes declined and modifications were made to the obverse legends, including the date, to allow faster press production of the zinc since. At Denver, the small date subtype was introduced after the remaining bronze planchets were coined. Any surviving 1982D small date bronze scents are transitional alloy errors, cousins to the famous 1943 bronze scents. This example fetched a sum of $10,800 at auction. 1985P Jefferson Nickel with full steps, graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS. The 1985 P. Jefferson Nickel is an elusive issue in MS66 condition with full steps. The virtually pristine surfaces of this spectacular superb gem are blanketed in shades of greenish gold toning and the design elements are razor sharp throughout. It was sold for $3,120. 1982 D. Kennedy Half Dollar Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS the coin is fully struck and displays exceptionally well-preserved satin luster. Most of each side offers delicate champagne toning, although ice blue appears near the upper obverse and lower reverse peripheries. It ended up selling for $3,525. Number 7. 1955 Lincoln Scent with Double Dye Obverse. Graded in Mint State 63 Red by PCGS. Popular and very scarce double dye Lincoln Scent with Full. Bold doubling on the date and obverse lettering. According to David Lawrence Coin Auctions, a select example that seems incredibly undervalued as compared to the prices that BN and Airbay coins typically achieve at auction. Highly lustrous and still fully red. This rarity ended up selling for $7,200. 1955 Proof Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. Shown as a truly memorable coin in a Proof Lincoln Cent of any date. This is a glorious specimen, as the assigned grade suggests, with virtually flawless surfaces dressed in vivid fire orange mint color. Watery fields support satiny design elements, the entire package smooth in hand and virtually pristine. 
The proof mintage of this issue is 378,200 pieces, not overly generous for the decade, and paltry in comparison to those of later date issues in the proof Lincoln series. This super rare gem ended up selling for $50,400. 1927s Lincoln sent. Graded in mint state 65 red by PCGS. Full red examples of this San Francisco issue are challenging in any grade, and they are rare in gem condition with none numerically finer. This piece displays satiny copper orange luster and is well struck, though minor dye erosion is evident in the fields. Housed in an old green label holder. It was sold for $16,800. 1955 Lincoln sent with double dye obverse. Graded as MS64 Brown by NGC. Deep walnut brown patina bathes this satiny and boldly struck key date scent. Some flickers of orange-red color remain in the most protected areas. Each side exhibits a few trivial ticks, but a generally unabraded example. FS101 shows bold dye doubling visible to the naked eye, making it one of the most sought-after issues in the series. This elusive specimen was sold for $4,320. 1946s Roosevelt Dime with repunched mint mark and double dye reverse, graded in mint state 67 plus full bands by PCGS. The coin is composed of 90% silver and 10% copper. Its surfaces exhibit lustrous and mostly sharply struck features, accompanied by amber, rose, and olive green tones. Notable dye doubling is evident, particularly on the reverse lettering and face value. Additionally, the mint mark S shows clear evidence of being punched over another S positioned differently. This specific coin was sold for $600 on December 5, 2023. A silver eagle with dye adjustment strike. According to Heritage Auctions, mint errors on silver eagles are rare and in high demand. This coin was produced while adjusting the die during the installment of new working dies in the press. The dies were initially spaced too far apart, but much of the design was not brought up. The area of the date is among those not struck up, though the bottom edges of the numerals are visible the date is possibly 1987 or 1991, though an exact match is impossible. The coin is brilliant and satiny and lacks any severe abrasions. It was sold for $2,640. The 1937 proof scents are similar to the brilliant proofs of 1936. The popularity of the latter finish is reflected in significantly higher sales of proof coins during 1937. This is nevertheless a fairly scarce date when compared to the millions of proofs coined annually since the 1960s. The mint became a little more practiced at polishing the dyes, with the result that a very small percentage of this emission reveals some degree of cameo contrast between brilliant fields and gently frosted devices. These cameo and ultra cameo coins are indeed rare and highly desired. This gem was sold for $1,680. 1966 Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by NGC. The 1966 Washington Quarter was struck in staggering numbers, more than 821 million coins. However, numismatic interest in the issue as a whole was generally non-existent until the recent escalation of registry set competition. Decades of commercial use reduced what might have been a universal common coin to one that is conditionally rare in the topmost grades. MS-68 specimens like this one are highly sought after. It was sold for $4,440. 1919 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 66 Plus Red by PCGS. This Denver issue is elusive in high red grades, and premium gems are rare in this color category. This is among a small handful of plus designated pieces reported by PCGS a gorgeous, full mint red beauty with luster that almost cartwheels. Next to impossible to find at this registry-worthy grade level. It was sold for $13,250. 1922 No D sent with strong reverse. Graded as VF25 by PCGS, VF standing for very fine according to coin grading scale. No cents were struck at the Philadelphia Mint dated 1922, the only such emission of the small cent denomination. Cents were coined in Denver that year. Collectors were thus mystified when occasional scents were encountered in commerce bearing the 1922 date but without a letter D below the date. Eventually, numismatists determined that three die pairs of 1922 D scents lack the D die pair 1 and 3 have a weak reverse and sometimes show portions of the D die pair 2 has a strong reverse and never shows a remnant or ghost of a mint mark. This circulated specimen was sold for $840. 1982 P. Washington Quarter. Graded in Mint State 68 by PCGS. Out of more than 500 million Washington quarters struck at the Philadelphia Mint in 1982, only two coins have been awarded an MS-68 grade by PCGS, including this one. Radiant pearl gray surfaces are fully struck and effectively flawless with occasional powder blue and tan accents. It fetched a sum of $10,200. 1983 
1969 S. Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded in Mint State 64 read by PCGS. Bill Fivas and J.T. Stanton describe the 1969 SDDO Lincoln sent thus, the publicity this coin has received over its lifetime has been enormous, hence the very high values, which are well deserved. One does not even need a loop to discern wide, pronounced doubling to all of the lettering and digits on the obverse. This gem is an attractive piece, with warm, even, medium orange luster to both sides. There are few blemishes of any kind, and most are so small as to be easily overlooked by the unaided eye. It was sold for $86,250. 1980 Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus read by PCGS. According to Grading Service, the 1980p Lincoln Cent is very common as the U.S. Mint struck over 7.4 billion examples. Examples up to MS-66 condition are easy to locate. In MS-67 they are scarce. Anything grading higher than MS-67 is considered rare. This plus designated gem ended up selling for $2,300.62 with buyer's fee. 1930s Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 67 read by NGC. This is a sharply struck, pristine copper red example of the 1930s Lincoln Cent, showing no carbon spotting or bothersome abrasions. I appeal is excellent. This issue is rare in MS67 red, and no numerically finer red coins are known. It was sold for $2,640. 